hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to discuss about choking in firearms introduction types of choking and advantages of choking will be discussed in this video so before starting this video i would like to request you all to please like this video and subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends as much as you can also you can join my telegram group if you want i update each and every video over there the link is there in the description box so let's get started choke first let's understand what is a choke so a choke is the tapered constriction of a shotgun's barrel bore at the muzzle end so if I, uh, we all know that barrel is one of the main portion of a firearm so in cases of smooth bore firearms smooth bore firearms there is no land or no grooves that are present it is completely smooth from inside so the bore area of the smooth bore firearms is smooth but for rifled firearms we have lands and grooves that are altogether responsible for increasing the range of the firearm and for providing proper direction to the um, projectile but in case of smooth bore we have no such things there are no lands and grooves so we need something so that the projectile just do not disperse off because I hope you know that how the ammunition in case of um, shotguns or sh smoothbore firearms look like there are pallets and these pallets there are number of pallets inside the ammunition or the cartridge cartridge case so whenever uh, for example this is the primer and this is the propellant all right so whenever you know the striking pin hits the primer it ignites the propellant and all and all the gases leads to expulsion of these pallets out from the cartridge case and then they further travel through the barrel all right and these pallets they travel through the barrel and finally they come out now when they come out we do not want that you know they disperse our out in different direction as soon as they come out from the barrel we want them we want all these pallets to stay together we want them to uh, to have an impact on the target altogether so for that we do choking so the purpose of choking is to alter the distribution of the shots as it leaves the firearm we want these pallets to remain all together so for that we do choking now chokes are almost always used with modern hunting so they are used for hunting processes and target hunting to improve the performance of the smooth bore firearms. Now there are various types of chokes depending upon the amount of constriction that is happening. So for example here in this one there is no choking at all you can see that it is normal cylindrical barrel. In this we can see half choking that is half constriction we can see and here it is full choking so there are different types of choking also that i'll be discussing further in the video so now the purpose of choking is to shape the spread of the shot cloud or string to gain better range and accuracy let's understand this now first look at this one here we have super full choke now this is the maximum amount of choking that is taking place now in case of super full choke now since the choking is quite a lot we get to see here is that the effective range has increased that is effective range is 50 yard 50 plus yard then for example if you look at full choke it is 40 yard and for modified choke it, it is 30 yard so here it was maximum choking in full choke a bit less choking and modified choke even less choking and if you look at cylindrical one the, in which there is no choking the range will be even more less also one more thing that we can see is the shape of the spread of the shots all these little tiny things that you see over here these are all shots all right so on the basis of the choking we can see how much these shots are getting dispersed so more the amount of choking that is taking place less is the dispersion so remember this So if there is more amount of choking, there is less dispersion that is going to lead to better accuracy. Okay, so this is the main reason why we do choking. So look here in 
this full choke the dispersion has increased while in modified choke where choking where is even less choking is done the dispersion has increased even more so there are different types of choking on the basis of how much tapering or constriction has been done so first is cylindrical choke in which there is no constriction at all it is unconstricted barrel and the picture is shown over here that there is no constriction of the um, bore or the barrel then comes improvised choking in which slight constriction has been done so the figure here you can see that there is slight choking that has been done it allows the short string to spread fairly quickly so since there is only little amount of constriction so here in this case the shorts are spreading quite quickly and uh, it is a good choice for hunting of quail or rabbits etc also it is good for targets that are present relatively closely so if your target is nearby you can use improvised cylindrical choke if the target is near then the dispersion is going to be less because dispersion is going to increase with the increase in range so if it is near if the target is near then you can use improvised choke then comes modified choke in which even more choking is done so in modified the choking is more than improvised but it is less than full choke so modified choke has moderate constriction all right the pellets stay together longer for longer amount of time making the short string denser and more useful at longer ranges all right there is also an improved modified choke that has a bit more choking than modified choke then comes full choke in case of full choke there is very tight constriction as you can see here that there is so much constriction over here that you can see the short holds together for a even more longer range making this choke even more better and the range is even more increased in this case then at the end we can discuss about the advantages of this choking it lessens the rate of spread of shots as i have told that it is going to decrease the dispersion of pallets then it increases the explosive force now it is quite obvious if the dispersion is less all right if the dispersion is less then they are going to move like one unit right and obviously that if many pallets are acting as one unit they are going to have much more powerful response so there will be increased explosive force also it increases the velocity and thus it is going to increase the range as we saw in the previous one here the range is increasing as the constriction is increasing then it delivers the optimum pattern of pallet density pallet density is the more closer these pallets are the more dense it become all right so here we can see that the pallets are closer and here they are far from each other so this is more dense here the density is increased and here the density is decreased so we get to have a optimum pattern this one is be, will be the optimum pattern of the pallet density for in order to get a better range for the particular target if the target is like close range or mid range or far range for that we need a proper pattern of pallets on the basis of that different types of choking is done also whether it is traveling towards across or across or away from the shooter for all these factors we need optimum pattern for the pellet density so this can be obtained by choking all right so for all these things we do choking so this was all about this video i hope you understood what choking is why we do choking how it affects our our pellets and what are the advantages of choking please like share and subscribe to my channel share it with your friends as much as you can thank you